episode of Wrecked. A fully loaded tractor trailer flips in the middle of a busy roadway. And the mistress is misbehaving. The truck is not working. The mistress is straight me in a B-I-T-C-H right now. I'm so upset with her. This is my favorite therapy in the whole wide world. Bill lets off some steam by crushing cars at the junkyard. Everybody wants to hit the crusher button. Jameson and Yuri get their hands dirty, trying to pull two porta potty trucks out of a muddy mess. Go, 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 don't stop. Go, 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 go. Chicago has more than 20,000 miles of highway full of breakdowns, spills, and wrecks. It's a dangerous mess, and somebody's got to clean it up. O'Hare towing with his wife Marcy, his brother Joey, a fleet of high tech trucks, and a team of dedicated drivers who risk their lives every day, ready to respond at a moment's notice to the next big wreck. Each year, over 700 million tons of cargo are hauled through Chicago by trucks. But not all of the cargo reaches its final destination. Overloaded rigs have a tendency to roll over, and that's when O'Hare has to step in. Dispatch gets a call for a rig that's flipped over. 903, uh, head over to I-55 and Arsenal Road. It's gonna be for a rollover, track the trailer. It's fully loaded. 310, uh, I need you to respond also on this call. Just off I-55, the tractor trailer was approaching the intersection of Arsenal Road. The driver took a left turn way too hard, and the truck rolled over. The container separated from the trailer. And now the O'Hare crew has two recoveries to do instead of one. With the heavily traveled truck route backed up for miles in both directions. Good. Crank it up, let's get her going. Joey and an entire team of O'Hare operators are rushing to get the lane cleared. But I need you to do it. We need to do it fast. Right. The first step is to upright the tractor trailer using chains attached to the undercarriage. We put a chain here. What this chain does is because these springs are soft, it keeps you from pulling the front axle out when we try to upright it. Tractor trailer out of the way. Joey can move in with his truck, the mistress. But there's a problem. We got nothing. My truck is not working. His truck won't accelerate for some reason. He's having trouble. My truck's broke. All right. Slow down. Just let me. Think, please. You're going where I'm at. I'm going to pick it from here, but at an idle. My truck won't accelerate at all. So right now, this thing's a 60,000-pound piece of that won't move. Traffic backup is getting worse by the second, and now the crew may be down its most powerful truck. Come on, Mac. Good. It's just temperamental right now. She'll start working, and she'll die out. She'll die out and start working. She's so upset with her right now, I want to... Duh. So we're gonna work as fast as we can to get out here. Joey and Tony have to flip the container over before they can lift it and put it on the low boy. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna upright this box right where it's at. Side up, they bring in the low boy. Spin out, get a piece. You're gonna rotate. 
rotate, pick this one off of the 90. And then we'll put it right on this trigger. Never had a mechanical failure. And I am embarrassed right now. And I'm just so mad. Come on. 903 is having a very bad mechanical breakdown right now. If I got this container up in the air and she breaks down, the motor stops running, we're going to have 40,000 pounds hanging in the air without it coming down. I don't know how long it's going to keep running. We're not going to stop what we're doing. All right? We're going to move that, get it done. We're going to pick this thing right now. There you go. I got one shot at this. O'Hare crew is under the gun to clear a flipped tractor trailer. Oh, oh, hide her up, son! But this load is heavier than it looks. There's no way this is only 40,000. And if we flip two rotators, we're screwed. Tony, let's go. And later. Get that box inside. The crusher needs some food. Bill shows some junk cars who's boss. Say la vie, little Mustang. Have fun crushing your ass. See ya. Back on I-55, a team of O'Hare operators are still working to get a container that slipped off its trailer placed on a low boy. But they've hit a major roadblock. My truck is not working. My truck's broke. All right? I got to get this roadway clear. The officer's yelling, and my truck's dying out. And now it appears that's not the only problem. The load feels heavier than what they said it was. Too much uh, pull on it. There's no way this is only 40,000. I picked 60 off the side, and I've never had that side start coming up. And if we flip two rotators, we're screwed. With Tony's rotator threatening to flip over and Joey's wrecker on the fritz, the crew can only hope that everything holds together as they back the low boy under the container. Right, back up the low boy. Trike adjusts the wheels to fully support its massive weight. Mission accomplished. But Joey still can't believe the mistress let him down. The mistress is straight being a B-I-T-C-H right now. I am so upset with her. I'm supposed to show you. You have the biggest, baddest truck out there, and nothing will stop you from mechanical breakdown. Nothing. truck service doesn't just tow cars. It also plays a big part in recycling them. I don't care how many times you do it, it's always fun. Bill owns a 10-acre junkyard called TNS, where vehicles are stripped down and sold for parts. There are lots of ways TNS gains control of these junk cars. We buy quite a few cars at auctions. We buy them from other tow yards, plus we buy them off the street if somebody has a car they don't want anymore. Sometimes, O'Hare will tow a car and the owner won't show up to get it out of the impound. If the car goes unclaimed for long enough, it becomes property of O'Hare Towing. If nobody does anything, it can be as fast as 30 to 45 days. On the far side, it could take months. The junkyard is more than just a home for abandoned vehicles. It's a major money-making enterprise. It's a couple million a year. It's the next step in the food chain. We get ownership, and then we'll sell pieces and parts. If there's something good, headlights, bumpers, mirrors, cars are dissected, we'll inventory parts. All of the salvageable parts pulled from the car get inventory and stored in a massive warehouse until they are sold. Doors and grills and drive shafts. This is a revolving stock. You never know what you're going to need and when. Hey, uh, 90 Eagles Premier, left front door. 
know what? We just actually took one in, a black one. Today's our lucky day. Bring that back up here and get those two doors off. We got a guy that wants them up in front. I'm very surprised on what sells and how it works. This business fascinates me. Tony, let's go. Get that box inside. The crusher needs some food. Once the vehicles are stripped of all valuable parts, they get fed to the crusher, Bill's favorite part of the process. This is my favorite therapy in the whole wide world. Everybody wants to hit the crusher button. I always save this part of the job for me. When it comes to the crushing part, I, I just really like it. You can be having a pretty bad day, but when you get to uh, crush a few cars, it's kind of like uh, auto recycling therapy. If we don't stay on top of crushing cars, we'll just run out of space. Thin in the herd. You got to thin the herd. I bounce my time between the tow yard and here, usually one or two days a week. If I'm stressed out, I spend more time here than normal. It's a great stress reliever, and it's just fun. Say la vie, little Mustang. Have fun crushing your ass. See ya. I've said this before, I'll say it again. Rollovers, crushing cars, and sex, you know, works out well for me, and at any given time, they all change position on what's more important. Yeah, that battle's won. Get yeah, car. It's finished the circle of life, so to speak. You know, it's all part of the cycle. Circle of life. Coming up, two O'Hare operators work in the pitch black to get a pair of porta potty trucks back on solid ground. But this job isn't going so smoothly. The uh, tow hook broke off. And later. I'll just bring it to me. Joey takes the mistress out on another recovery. I'll set up the riggers. Optimus Prime here. But will she let him down again? Sometimes I talk dirty to her, sometimes I don't. It's late in the evening, and O'Hare has just received an unusual call. 10-8, 10 Jameson, 3-15. I need you to head out to the high school in the rear. They got two porta potty trucks stuck in the mud. Not sure if they're loaded or not. Jameson heads out to the scene. There's two uh, porta potty trucks. They both got stuck. One guy got stuck trying to get the other guy out. I don't want to take the chance of getting my truck stuck out there, too. The roadway is narrow, and Jameson's worried that if he drives down there, he might find himself in the same bind as the other drivers. In it, deep. The road is barely wide enough for my truck to even drive down it. Just waiting for a smaller truck to actually get back there. Look at my truck. I should be able to handle anything, and I can't even fit. Yuri shows up in his medium duty wrecker, ready for action. I'm gonna be spotting in our medium here, 608. Get the first guy out, we'll focus on the second guy when the time comes. Once Jameson guides Yuri's truck down the narrow path, they begin to pull out the winch lines and hook them up to the stranded vehicle. It's good. Might as well fire it up. The lack of light makes it difficult for Jameson and Yuri to see. Hold up! So constant verbal communication is the key to completing their mission. How's that side looking, Yuri? Straighten the wheel. Brake. That's good. One down, one to go. We gotta pull all the way back out, then we gotta back in here and do it again. All right, pull out of here. That one's gonna be a beast. It's a smaller truck, but it's further back. We might have to stop there and run a long line. To get the second truck out, Yuri needs to make a hairpin turn. But that may put him back in the middle of the swamp he's trying to avoid. Hold up! That's the hole that the first truck got stuck in. I'll put that board right here. 
if I walk straight back and I roll right over this. We put the block down just to make sure he doesn't sink. Before they get to the second truck, things start to go wrong. While trying to avoid the mud pit, Yuri snags his front right rim on a set of concrete steps. You're on it. You have more blocks on here? I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna hammer it right through. All right. Watch it. Go, go, go. Don't stop. Go, 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 go. Just go. Keep going. You got it. Thanks to Jameson's expert guidance and Yuri's fancy footwork, they get past the roadblocks and hook the winch lines up to the truck frame. But as soon as they take one step forward, they're pushed two steps back. The tow hook broke off. I want to use the other cable to balance so I can boom up and get a better pull out. They wrap the heavy duty chains around multiple points on the frame allowing the winch lines to pull without the risk of them snapping off. Might as well fire it up. The chains work, and the truck slowly begins to edge out of the muck. Straighten the wheel. Cut it. With Jameson navigating, the driver is able to drive past the various obstacles and make it to the street. I was really convinced this was going to be an easy call. Winch out, I get to do something. I get out of here. It went from an easy call to a complicated call real quick. Coming up. They were trying to get they were pulled out the strap here, and that strap is like a little bit higher than dog chain. Joey works to get a truck out of the mud and puts the misbehaving mistress to the test. Me and the mistress, it's a very love-hate relationship. This afternoon, O'Hare receives a call to 1600 South Wolf Road. 903 Joe, got a heavy-duty winch out, semi-truck trailer stuck in the mud. 10 8, 10 8. Hold in here to turn around, pulled up, caught the rock, backed it back around and got into the mud. That's why we had to call this big boy. It's only got 24,000 pounds in. It's actually a light load. OK. The driver already tried to pull the trailer free, but he didn't exactly have the right equipment. First, he started off in them straps. <laughs> but he pulled the thing, the thing snapped like yeah. a rubber band. <laughs> They were trying to get they were pulled out with the strap here, and that strap is like a little bit higher than dog chain. Bad idea. <laughs> She's still barred together. That's good. I'm going to pick up the rear of this, get it off the mud, and get it sitting on some asphalt. Pull it up in the air. After I get this away from these rocks, I'm going to attach up there at the frame, pull the tractor out, and slingshot her out. Sweet. All right, let me get rigged up to it. All righty. All right, let's bring some light to this action. Boom. It's like a strobe bar. That's nice. Let's set up the riggers. Optimus Prime here. All right. I'll just bring it to me. Boom. Because the trailer weighs so much, Joey uses snatch blocks to double the lifting capacity of his lines. Okay, time to get a little dirty. Now that his winch lines are in place, Joey chains up the back of the trailer to lift it off the rocks. Come on out, big girl. Make you dance today. Me and the mistress have a very love-hate relationship. The mistress already let Joey down once before. My truck is not working. My truck's broke. All right? There's no guarantee she'll cooperate this time. The mistress acted up pretty bad on me the other day. I think I got all the bugs worked out. Oh, that's weird. If she doesn't perform today, I'm not going to wash her for a week. I'm going to have to just beat her ass. Oh, it's doing exactly what I wanted to. Hmm. And she is fully airborne. Maybe we should call the airport.
I'm gonna scoot over just a little bit more, just because I'm greedy. Oh yes, this is why I love my truck. The rear of the trailer is back on the pavement. Now Joey has to figure out how to get the tractor out of the mud. Look at that, see? Perfect. I'm gonna station my tow truck behind this thing and they call it a slingshot. But I'm gonna take the whole slingshot out of it and just pull really effing hard. The mistress and me, we got a good relationship. Sometimes I talk dirty to her, sometimes I don't. Today, she's doing the job just fine. I don't gotta talk dirty to her. With the mistress in position and the sun going down quick, Joey is ready to slingshot the rig out of the mud. All right, let's get this pig out of the dirt. All we gotta do is get those other things up under the asphalt. We're good. Joey uses a remote control so he can keep his eyes on the front end of the tractor as he manipulates his boom controls. <laughs> Take it to chills. And there comes some more. Oh my god. That is pretty sexy. You're pretty much ready for a rock. Uh. <laughs> With the tractor out of the mud, all that's left to do is get them back on the road. You got it. Come on, Daryl. The mistress and me is a good relationship. She puts out a lot. She's got feelings, guys. I'm gonna go home right now and wash her. You throw the punch in there. At all hours of the day and night, O'Hare's ready to tackle the job. Even if it's dirty or dangerous. I, I love this truck so much that I was gonna wreck the house and just build a garage and back my truck in. So at least I'd be next to her every night. Try explaining it to all your girlfriends of who you're going out with in the middle of the night around 3 o'clock in the morning. You're better off saying, hey, I'm going out with my mistress. Well, little did I know, my truck's named it. Ooh. It's like telling your mom, you're like, hey, I'm going to the library. Well, you go to the bar in college. Well, the, the bar's name is the library. <laughs>